that one right there is like an actual shop where you were before was kind of more of the market oh, okay. like a fish market okay. that didn't work yeah yeah i kind of put the uh backslash in the wrong area hashtag anyway so she's gonna see if she needs to go inside and say hello uh, as you head inside, you are uh, greeted by a friendly face who, who smiles at you, and uh, as you look around, there are some fishing supplies. Seems to be like a fishing supply store of some type, mostly like bait and uh, nets, etc. Even a boat, very small boat, but a boat nonetheless. And hello. Um, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing okay. It's good to see you today. Are you trying to fish? Ah, uh, more or less. I guess I've been in town and um, and fresh. For the most part, try to go to the other like larger cities to see if I can catch a ferry to a, a boat to say, you know. A um, bigger destination, but sadly, since the storms have been kind of keeping most postage, you know, on land, not technically on the dock. So, kind of had to find some other means to. At which point, the uh, guy behind the counter, who seems to be uh, some kind of dwarf, or maybe a half dwarf, because he's a little tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, he uh, he looks over to you and he's just like, you know, it's been pretty bad. I've been here for several hundred years and this storm comes by every 70 or so, give or take. However, it's never stayed this long. Something's wrong. It's usually only a week or two. We're already past three. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like I said, most folks have been shot and people are kind of panicking on it. This is getting a bit close. As she kind of still has kind of has the journal in her hand, kind of. <laughs> he looks around. He says, uh, "Well, we don't usually carry parchment paper here. You might have to ask the mage coven that lives around these parts. They actually run the town." Oh, okay. Well, that's not supposedly. Really. Um. Sorry. Uh, well, you say when they come to or leaving? Sorry. Uh, I said as far. Uh, what do you mean as far as running the town? Sorry, not and run to. You said running. Got you. Yeah. Uh, well, just that they handle our day-to-day -day affairs, they collect the protection tax, they uh, regulate travel on the boats, really they control all aspects of the town. Uh-oh. Um, has it been trouble, been worse as of late? storms have been going on? No, pretty standard affairs for them. Though they do seem to be looking for something. But honestly, they haven't really changed much. Hmm. How can you tell them to keep something? They've just been chartering more boats than usual. They come in and buy 
extra rigging, sails, food stocks. Mm. Leave it to me to pick up a coven of witches by jumping onto their boat. Uh, I need it. Anything else? Because I've heard from the tube next door about a moving uh, island. I've heard about the same moving island. Never seen it myself, but then again, I don't go out in storms like this. Oh, of course not. Having, yeah, I... having said that, I will say I've seen some strange things. Like, how so? I mean, other than probably me. Because <laughs> I've heard that people get the worst running around. No, I do say it's probably been several decades, if not a century, since the last Orchord passed through these parts. Not always too kind to the sea, as you know. Yeah. Can be a little mm, for the most part. God damn it, why is it not? That's weird. Well, uh, I'm more of a person that we do, per, uh, person that refers to who is interested in understanding, you know, more of it. So that is like your typical couple. Sorry, one more time, Jewel. Sometimes you're just a bit quiet. I might have to turn you up on my end. Do, 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 do. Um, she said, I mean, I'm a bit more understanding culture-wise than, say, other half, of course. Well, that's very nice. The, the last couple works I met were uh, a bit rough around the edges. Good guys at heart, as long as they didn't want to hit you in the head. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I won't argue with that. Aren't we all? It could bode badly in some places for sure, but uh, yes, around here these parts are pretty tame as long as you don't mess with the powers that be. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not here, just curiosity, get around, but you're saying the mages, the mage guild for a coven nearby, and it gives you the point in the direction. So, like, can we see if they have any questions? Yes, they should be to the, I believe, to the west in a large building just in front of the docks. It's easier for them to control the entire city. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Do be careful, though. Up. And, miss, have a nice day. You too. And she kind of, like, politely bows and leaves. And kind of heads towards the building. And which, yep, more or less. Here. All right. So uh, as you exit, uh, or as you approach the building, you see uh, a dragonborn leaving. And which probably? Okay, that's the same one I tried to live. Okay. And yeah, you're at the building. You're gonna come inside, I assume? Yeah. More or less, yes. So, uh, as soon as you enter, uh, you know, the room, uh, you are faced with a group of armed guards uh, who ask, What's the purpose of your visit to the Mage's Order? 
And which she kind of holds up her hands like, Okay, well, well, gentlemen, I understand have words get a bad rep. But I'm just here- to What the hell are orcs? You've never heard of orcs, much less have ones. Not around these parts. Is that some kind of salad? No. <laughs> no. An orc salad? No, and um, please don't tell anyone you say those words together. But because but I've always wanted to say you have to toss the orc salad. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to get it on the body and I'll get down. <laughs> well, that's funny! <laughs> no, no. Take her head, like, and you've got a feeling that she's not meeting in your arm. She's like, no, no, no. I am forced or <laughs> Funny. Funny. Like salad. Well, if they're not salad, they're humanoid. Like you, me. Humanoid salads? No. I was gonna say, humanoids can be made into salads. Mm -hmm. Not the boy. Like, Just ask Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar salad and an actual orc salad that they're making. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's just like, well, that's all good, but what's your purpose here? M Mrs. Mrs. Half Salad. I'm not salad. Um, first of all, um, and second, I'm here because I was directed here for the for parchment paper. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you're gonna go down the hallway to the left. Oh, okay. I'm Is just kidding. There's no parchment paper for sale here. Oh. Only only the the integrated scholars may borrow our parchment paper. Scholar. But are you an integrated scholar in our system? Exactly, no, I don't Join the collective! <laughs> Join the collective! Join the collective! But I am... I wouldn't say well versed in such manners, but more of... I, I understand that, you know... A, a knowledge is very... is a good thing. I understand... why not? I do study, more or less. Not necessarily just magic, but also different cultures and races that are associated with those said cultures. So uh, upon saying that, you uh, you hear someone in the back say, "Move aside, you fools!" And the uh, the guards split in half, kind of, you know, split down the center and uh, move out of the way. <laughs> they split down the middle. Yeah, like physically, like in a line, and you can see their spines. Great, great. And don't blame the <laughs> half work. Don't blame the half work. This is so weird. My spine. I feel no pain. Oh, uh, no. Sorry. Yeah, I know. We've been just going for just. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they say. You are a scholar, you say. A researcher. Well, us. And uh, basically there's like four or five scholars behind the group of guards that was in front of you. Okay. They say, What are you searching to research on your search of searching? <laughs> Uh, other than the understanding of other races and their cultures, but also I want to learn more in particular about, you know, humanoid cultures, but <laughs> kind of has my interest. The, uh, the mages smile and cackle for a moment, one at a time, like their hands kind of held over their mouths and like, almost like glee, like I know a secret that you don't know. Uh, and then they, uh, joins in. <laughs> <laughs> at which point they, uh, they stop and go stone faced and they say, yeah. we may know of a research area that might pique your interest. Hmm. Yes. Another one says, it's an interesting place. 
In fact, it's interesting because there are no humanoids there. Yes, in fact, it might be the only place there are no humanoids. Yes, in fact, it might be. Why, well, yes, in fact, it might be. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing. I see where this is going. She's kind of like, I'm seeing where this is going. I'm guessing you want someone to go say research said place. Actually, we've already sent someone. Oh, but he hasn't crazy. called in a week. Oh, also, we didn't yeah. send him with a way to call. Yeah, we didn't have the magic cell phone. Yes, the magic cell phone. Much like the magic school bus. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking maybe more along the lines of a long distance telecommunication pearl. Yes! The telecommunication pearl. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, right. Because they suck. <laughs> I mean, all you need to do is enchant a pearl with send message. I thought just one of a pair of sending stones give one to one person and you keep the other. Oh, why didn't we think of that? Throws like three or four sending stones at your head. <laughs> <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we haven't heard from them in a week. We are the Council of Mages. Do we look stupid to you? No, 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 you do not. We are just old and crotchety. Yeah. Yes, old and crotchety. Yeah. Um, so anyway. So, I'm guessing there's, I, I mean, first of all, well, I originally came here for some parchment paper. Ah, uh, yes! We're out of parchment paper. <laughs> it's, it's gotten wet. Of course. But we would be willing to give you some from our private stores yeah, as a gesture of good faith yes. yes as a gesture of good faith shut the hell up Jonathan <laughs> <laughs> fine then I'll shut the hell up yes 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 shut the hell up Jonathan <laughs> I like how I'm getting married this is Right. Get shit on, Jonathan. Yes. You just see Jonathan okay. really sad. Aw, poor Jonathan. Yes. Feel so bad about it. Just kidding. Eat shit. Get shit on, Jonathan. <laughs> Fucking noob. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But they said, yes, yes, yes. But if you'd like, you can head to this island. We have a ship going there today. Okay. And I mean, if, if it's seen so much of recording such um, wonderful information. I assure you there was never a study like it before. And as well as I will relay the stuff to you, but this time I'm guessing since last time you sent someone and clearly they didn't get back to you. Either A, something happened to them, or B, they weren't able to communicate with you. Is there any chance you have sending stones so I can make sure you know? Points to the sending stones at your feet. Oh, oh my god. And she has a kind of gently uh, bent on the rabbit. He says. Now, we're trying to send a large expedition this time. Last time we sent one researcher with six escort sailors. This time we're going to send two researchers with six escort sailors. Foolproof. Uh, if I'm one, then where's the other? He's already on the ship, probably. Was he that green dragonborn that I just saw? I don't know what a dragonborn is, but maybe. 
Um, he was grieved gaily. No offense, so. Sorry, just typing things out, and yeah, she's just like, hey, you. Okay. Because I'm adding it to the thing. I'm adding the, at least, the sending stone that she got. Yes. Uh, besides that, they're going to say, you'll need one other thing. Yes. Hold out your hand, and don't flinch. Okay. At which okay. point they uh, pull out a sigil and they place it on your hand and chant a few words after which uh, a burning sensation is felt in your hands and a red tattoo is transferred onto the top of it. Mm -hmm. In the shape of a, uh, I believe it's a two-headed snake. Ooh. And it's, oh, a, you a and it's a red tattoo. It's, uh, she kind of flinches, but, uh, it was, kind of, like, high. Okay. <laughs> this is the mark of the Nalantha pirates. Anyone in our group will recognize it and help you. Well, on the other hand, and I forgot to mention this to the last guy. Anyone who is an enemy to our group will see it and immediately try to kill you. Oh, that's terrifying. That's just terrifying. Uh, I'm like, down and then I'm just like, does that do any harm, any harm to me? Or is it just purely uh, necessary? Ah, uh, it should not do any harm. It's purely decorative. However, it is enchanted, so it cannot be removed except for by us. And it reacts magically to tattoos like it to prove its authenticity. Oh, okay. I'm just asking again. What's in Oh, oh, definitely helpful, but also very much on the Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Anyway, um, thank you very much for this lovely opportunity, and I will finally, like I said, get you your, I'll get you your information and kindly report back to you on that. And I'm guessing I better catch that boat before it leaves, because she, she kind of points to the boat. Yes, that's the boat. Oh. What's our stowaway policy? Yes, what's the stowaway policy? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jonathan. Um, but did she get any part of the paper out of that chaos? Yeah, they, they <laughs> sent you off with about uh, three or four sheets of parchment paper. Okay. Although some of it is stained with blood. Well, what she noticed, and she's. Oh. I'm sure, I signed myself up for the right thing. Uh, you could use a lot two or three of it. Oh, okay. I will just put about three, because why the heck not? Okay. She goes about her day. And, she, like I said, she makes her quick bow and goes about her day. Alrighty. And catches up. And right as she doesn't want to, I'm guessing she almost bumps into this guy. And she kind of says, excuse me. 
and as they're talking to another person they said that's okay so we'll take care of the travel you go on ahead and then they look over and they're like how can we help you young miss what are you in orc Ah, oh, yes, yeah. sorry, miss. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes we make that mistake. You make that mistake ever. Uh, anyway, um, she kind of points towards the mage's cousin and just like, there's a kind of commission fee for, um. Oh, yeah, another one of these bloody things. How many researches do we need? You got the mark? And he holds up his hand, which also has the two headed snake on it. Yeah, kind of does. He's like, good. And uh, you see that uh, his mark lights up red as you pass by. Oh. And she gets on the ship and kind of waves out and or just waves to them. She's like, they're like, it's good to meet you, miss. Yeah, good to meet you. Can I try to have found a little hiding hole to let the boat in? <laughs> to, to stow away in? You're, you're trying to stow away? I'm trying to stow away. Uh, Alright, you're going to roll a d20. No, a d10. <laughs> d10. <laughs> oh gosh, this is great. Eight. Alright, now we're going to go with that. Alright, so... Now you're gonna roll your stealth. It's cocked. Okay, that's also cocked. I'm gonna move my dice tray. Stop cocking your dice. Did him. Hey, the only time I'm gonna get a cock anything. Um, 15 plus 10, 25. That's pretty good. So, uh, you have decided. <laughs> After you're searching to end much deliberation to uh, take hold in one of the lower storage areas, it's a bit wet, a little damp from some light leaks, and uh, you know you're surrounded by what is essentially just boxes and barrels of, you know, products. Any food? Oh, uh, there might be. You probably gotta search around. Yeah. Is that investigation or perception? I'm gonna say investigation. Ooh, what does not matter? Four plus um investigation of eight. So eight. Well then. Yeah, I don't find no food. Nah. nah. And I grumble because this ship is shitty. <laughs> oh gosh, in the meantime. In the meantime, for the rest of us. <laughs> well, what are you? Uh, what are you doing? My, my, Michael's doing things currently. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be heading off here in a few minutes, everyone. Bell, you know, buckle your sphincters. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Right. Our captain is a one-eyed bandit. Oh. And he can't swim. He's not a pirate at all. Damn. Not pirate, huh? Yeah, his name is uh his name is Yogumo the Bear. What is? But he's a bandit, not a pirate. He makes that distinction. Of course. Which is weird because he works for a bunch of pirates. Eh, but you can just hear the question every time the question asked. Bye, um... Bye, Julia. Uh, can I just find myself out with a bunch of pirates? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh, we're pirates. Uh, okay. <laughs> Specifically, the Nalanta pirates. Uh, quick question. Educated question to ask me. Shift off. Probably there's no refunds at this point. Um, there's a refund. 
Uh, something where you give people money, their money back if they do not like said product. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. Oh, wait, you're being serious. Let me laugh harder. <laughs> anyway, so what is our biggest chance of being caught by authorities or and or killed by authorities? Ah, almost zero to none. I haven't even seen a authority in years. That's concerning. Mostly, I mean, between that as well as hearing earlier statements. But anyway. I'm gonna see if I can find the place I'm being, I wouldn't say kept, but more of where I will be storing my things. Ah, uh, you need a room, gotcha, miss. Yes, yes. Yeah. Whatever you need, you're our researcher. Well, one of our researchers. Um, unfortunately, uh, we only got two rooms and they're right next to each other. So you're gonna have to go right downstairs and take a right. Alrighty. Take a right. And she does okay and heads off to that in no direction. Gotcha. So you head off in those directions and you find a room. Mm hmm. Man, the door is closed. Um. Is it can she like open the door and it or is it just completely locked if she open it tries to open it? Well, I mean that's you gotta try to open it to figure that out. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Uh it, it seems like it's open. Or you know, not locked, so you can open it. Yeah, okay. And once she does, what does her behind say? Uh so as soon as you open the door you reveal a room. Uh, that seems to contain a small cot, an open chest, and a writing desk, as well as a, uh, a dragonborn with a torch in his hand, looking for a place to put it. Uh, same one that, uh, she saw earlier leaving? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, so you're the other researcher. I don't mean that in a mean way, but I mean like, oh boy. At which point the other guy gets down there, he's like, Oh, sh sorry, I meant to take a right and then a left. Ah, oh, shit, it's you, the other researcher. Fucking researchers. Oh. Well, get into your room, researchers. We got a long trip. And if you die before we get there, I don't get paid. And if I die before I get there, I really don't get paid. Okay, so. So I'm supposed to take a left, and which. Is there a left after she. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if, if you go back the opposite direction, there's another hallway that leads to another room. Oh, okay. It just kind of gently closes the door. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wrong direction. And she kind of closes the door. <laughs> and she kind of like, just goes back and then backtracks to the right where she's supposed to open the door at. Am I on a different floor than this happening? Yes. You are hiding below deck like a good little thief. <laughs> like a good little thief. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. Good little thief. In which I'm guessing this time she opens the door and it still has roughly the same description but is now empty. Yeah, and dark. But which doesn't matter, but that's the state of the room. Yeah. In which she kind of, you know, puts her stuff down, but at the same rate takes a torch out of her bag and see if there's a torch holder in the room. There or is... Or, or a lamp, please. There is actually a sconce on the wall. A scone on the wall. A, a scone? Who, who does scone? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, a sconce is like a lamppost or a thing you can put the torch in. A sconce is like attached to the wall, you put your torch in it. Okay, okay, so, okay, so she kind of does that, lights it with the tinderbox and then puts the torch in there. And then puts the torch in there, like I said. Um, 
and call for the day, kind of. Ooh, ooh, ah! Uh, can I curl up in one of the cargo boxes? Uh, I mean, sure. Okay, that's what I do. I hide inside a cargo box. And after she like sets her stuff down and you know takes a few minutes, a few breathers with the pipe and whatnot, she's like, oh, I probably should be going to do something. And what she goes to see if, if any of the crew members have any playing cards and see if she plays some playing cards. Yeah, uh, do a playing a few do a playing card with a uh, few games with them. You're gonna play a few game cards what, with them? Yeah, cards. Playing cool. cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely do that. Yeah. So, uh, before you guys head out, uh, you do hear from a uh, commotion coming from the top of the deck. A commotion? Okay. All right. Can I tell what kind of commotion? Is it like a fight? Yeah, I'm gonna ask that. Holy jeez, this is gonna be fun. Sorry, I have some RP stuff getting ready. They say that, uh... Basic, basically, you hear from the top deck just, We need to go! We need to leave! We're not supposed to go for another hour. We need to leave! Well, I don't feel a boom! And the whole ship shakes. As a uh, oh, more water coming in. What's that? I'm already in a damp space. Is there more water coming in? Not yet. You do get a heavier shock than the rest of them, though. Okay. So I like bang my face against the edge of the box or something. Yeah, basically. Said all oh, hands to stations. And Toya is like, oh, what was that about? While she's playing the, the this card game, uh, one of the guys looks up. He's like, "Oh, right now, let me go check. I'm gonna be back." And he puts his cards down on basically a cargo box, which is what you're playing on. He's like, "Don't look at my cards, goddamn it, Foz. Ah, never look at your cards, you bastard." And he walks off, and Foz looks at his cards immediately. <laughs> In which. Joya just shakes the snicker and like <laughs> snorts and like shakes her head like why? At uh, at which point you know a minute a couple you know maybe a minute or so goes by, the same guy comes running down out of breath and covered in rain. Rain? Oh. Yep, just water. He's just like we you you might want to hold on to something and then another big bang goes off, as the ship slams into something again. He said, it's getting crazy out there. The storm's moving in. There's a wave of the size of, well, you know your mother-in-law after a holiday. That size. Oh. Only I mean, bigger. I mean, I mean, as far as it always go, that probably would be the brief mom rather than the mother-in-law. She just says. I, I don't know much about Oxy now, that, but I'm telling you, we need to get out of it. And then there's another boom as the whole ship shakes again. Because basically, basically, you're banging into the wharf at this point. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're getting ready to go out. So if anyone. Uh... I have nothing left to do. I mean, she got her parchment paper and she has signed herself up for this. Alright, I think you guys are good then. Basically, the ship I'm moves out. I'm a stowaway on a pirate ship, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, you really should always check what kind of ship you stow away on. <laughs> Did I notice anyone have that red mark on their hands? Uh. 
I'd say probably yeah. Seeing as uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's on pretty much everyone's hand. Yeah. Is that like paint or something? Even though they're mad. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys make it out to sea. It's uh, supposed to be only about a day's journey or so from the edge of the town, so it shouldn't take you too long. But you do got a day's journey. Once we are a good distance from land, I leave my hidey hole and I go up on the main deck looking natural like I'm meant to be there so I think you know what I'm gonna ask for <laughs> deception and performance that's the ones <laughs> 10 deception How does luck work, actually? Hold on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Why do I have a feeling this is gonna be bad? Yeah, I know. I mean, it's already bad enough that the person with the plus eight to insight is on the ship with her when she's trying to do this. Keep this in mind. Ah, yes, but unless you're above, uh... Yeah, no. Yeah. But she... I mean, none... Unless she walked by and... Fuck it, I'll keep the 10. Okay, I'll keep the 10 for deception. Performance. It's a nat 20 again. Mm. Well, you know what? We're going to say that performance probably makes up for the deception. <laughs> you, know, you, you made up for it in attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Basically. Yep. And the world shaking. It's scary. Well, it is big boy. Yes. And I know, right? He's just really quiet right now. Ah. Like really quiet. He said something about corn. <laughs> If you're hungry, Michael, go eat something. And clap your hands. <laughs> Damn, I spent a lot during this. It's because it's stressful. But yeah, you're on a new page, so you can put your character on there if you'd like. I do need to change some of the sizes real quick. someone again. Anyways, as I was saying, corn being unable to step in the all the motion rock of the boat stops the studying and goes to the top deck. Hey, we're over on the top deck now. I mean, where was the card game being held? Oh, never mind. Uh, if if you guys were playing cards, it probably wasn't on the top deck. You are probably on the fourth or the fifth deck. So to give you some explanation of uh, how some of this works is on that ship, right? There are five decks, including top deck. So it's a pretty big ship. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I just don't feel like making that big of a map again. <laughs> I, I feel like you guys appreciate the smaller map more than I do. How about that? Either way. And plus, I get a general sense that it was okay. So long as I get an understanding that oh, okay, this is where said character is at. But yeah, so top deck is the top. There's actually a cabin up on top deck. That's the captain's cabin. Second deck has the two uh, cabins that you guys have. Mm -hmm. Third deck below that is crew quarters. 
yeah, which is pretty cramped obviously and then fourth deck and fifth deck are both storage areas fourth deck is the area that uh <clears throat> our tabaxi was hiding before yep but yeah you don't know that though. but yeah uh as you guys are you know well, uh, someone has an inkling of it. I mean, she did see you climb onto the ship, roughly. But then you lost visual. Once you lose visual, they may as well not exist. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly how that works. Just because that's how that works in video games doesn't mean that's how that works in D&D. <laughs> I was about to say that. I mean, just because the enemy gets loose, so it does not mean just... <laughs> No, 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 I'm totally right, totally right. Nah, nah, you would have to try to play convince me. <laughs> so, can I sort of, for the moment, watch what the other people are doing so that I can, that I can look busy if needed? <laughs> so you're trying to observe them and see if you can fit in? Yes. Yeah, sure. That's that's that, and that seems like a perception because you don't know exactly what you're looking for. You're just looking for something. Okay. Um, apparently, play is just freaking playing play cards. Fourteen plus six, twenty. Thirty, twenty. Uh, so you see that everyone at the moment is either kind of, kind you know, doing an active job of steering or messing with the rigging or is kind of just like lazing about. Some guys are fishing over the side of the deck and you see one of them is like pulling in a really big catch, you know. My cat ear is perked up. Um, okay. But I actually go down to the crew quarters is there anything of value uh so when you go down there you can see that there are still some people down in the crew quarters oh okay fine huh. having said that i mean there's anything people would carry they would have in the crew quarters because the crew quarters carry all c c c c c crew quarters. No. And wait a minute, where is the, my character playing cards at uh, in the crew quarters or? Yeah. Just... Yeah, you're on third floor, so you're playing in the crew quarters. You're actually down there too. Yeah. So you just see me enter and look around. Pretty much because you, unless you roll a new stealth check. No. Yep. I'm then, trying to look natural. Then yeah, I mean, yeah, which you did good. I mean, you're looking natural as all get out, with one big exception. What's yeah. my exception? Uh, I'm my now. A certain uh, tattoo-like thing on a hand. You have fur. Uh, I'll just bullshit my way through it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to the dragonborn and his scales. I'll use my claw <laughs> and like sort of redden the skin. <laughs> like cut the skin just a little bit so that it's nice and red. <laughs> That's gonna and be a fun it. one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how to do this while you're. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I do that. I did that downstairs. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know what lights up. I don't know any better. Um, so I see there's a card game going on, and I sit down to blend in. All right. Uh, roll the blend, I guess. Roll the blend. Is it a deception and performance again, or is it just performance? Uh, probably just, probably both, yeah. Probably both again, because you are doing, you know, trying to pretend you're somebody else and look natural out it. This guy doesn't want me to lie. Uh, 13 for deception. Ah, okay. Next. 12 plus 
Okay. This is and what was your deception? I just wanted. It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, seven plus a six. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Um. Corn is now down in the crew quarters. Why? He is looking around expectantly at this point. <laughs> That's definitely how a thief thinks. That's for sure. Criminals definitely think like that. Mm -hmm. But we have to be careful because you, if you act on that, then you end up in trouble. Yeah. The, the tobacco you see. Um, and yeah, then there's that. <laughs> Uh, in which, um, boy, I gotta look at him, like, he's probably on, uh, on the first or second deck. Oh, I she's probably right, mate. I start nodding. I mean, I mean, unless you want to sit here and play cards with us. Yeah, that sounds like a better idea. We ain't got nothing else to do until we get to the island. It's kind of boring. Yeah. At which point you hear another commotion from upstairs. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Apparently he does not like cards. Yeah. Deal me in. Uh, sure, sure, sure. And she kind of like stares at you for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I get a little unnerved, but I don't show it. Because I'm a thief. There, there's more ruckus coming from upstairs. I mean, I'm to be a researcher. In life, you gotta... Anyone else want to go check? Nah. So you're not going to research what's happening out there? I mean, I think I'm supposed to be researching what's on the island, not what's upstairs. Or if you want to go check. Well, I mean, I really got nothing better to do but play cards. I know. But it's time, right? What do you want? Know so One out of me. Booze. I certainly don't have any. You want booze? How about beer? Wait, what? I'm gonna push. You gotta look. Wait, what? Do you want what? You know? Are hey, you going? You got booze? What did you booze? I got beer. I got beer. Is this the same? This is booze. I pull out a big jug and I just smack it on the table. And it sloshes around. Uh. She stares at it for a bit, like... Huh. I try to win her over, and I say, care for a cup? That joke, what kind of joke is it, if I may ask? It's a joke. Stop doing it. <laughs> and so I check. <laughs> She's going to... <laughs> Um, okay. I will roll then. Oh god. Thirteen plus... God, I wish I lied. Um... Thirteen plus... Three is sixteen. Okay, she kind of leaves it, but not 100% for instance, sold. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good description of how it is to be convinced by someone and still not trust them. <laughs> it's like, I believe you, but I don't trust you instinctually, Michael, you healing bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my thing is, I would think it'd be a little bit of, okay, I believe it because the role was 18 passively. So, and I tap the, I tap the, the jug, and I say, we'd like some beer. 
and I tap the jug, and I... Up to two gallons per minute. Do I control how fast the water, the liquid comes out? Uh, it depends. I believe it depended on... No, no, no. It, it had a speed in its description, I thought. Yeah, up to two gallons per minute. And then under it, I think it's... Uh, one sec. I believe it depends on the liquid. Done, liquid max amount. Four gallons no, of beer. That's the amount. Up to two gallons per minute. Yeah, but can I make it less than two gallons per minute? Because that seems like yeah, a lot. Yeah, it says up to, so... Cool. So, um... Which is also good because you gotta make, you know, you're dispensing it, so you know, you don't want yeah, it to so just have it all on the floor. And then I can stop, right? Yeah. And then restart. You can, you don't restart, you continue, but I mean, so like you can, you have four gallons of beer, right, for the day. Once you start pouring beer, you can't pour anything else okay. until 24 hours have passed, but you can finish pouring your four gallons, you know, and take time in between them over that 24 hours okay so yeah i pour everyone a cup of beer including miss jewel uh yeah so you gave one to toya too to toya and i have one myself and we play cards and drink seems like it seems like it's working <laughs> <laughs> I do I carefully uh very very uh consciously do not get drunk. Very nice. Uh, yeah, my and mindful of how much she's having. <laughs> so I'm like I mean, losing one while I do so many things while I'm running out of booze. Nerd. Yeah, but more or less, yeah, she's keeping an eye and more or less doesn't truly start drinking it until, like, she starts drinking. Like, yeah, let her have her sip. Are we gambling, or is it just a friendly game? Speaking of the commotion from up top, that continues to get louder, and one of the soldiers just kind of, like, our sailor is just kind of like, I gotta go see what that is. I'll see you later. And he, oh. he pops up. I mean, there's still two or three playing cards with you, but. Who's winning? Um, I think for the most part. Actually, how are we rolling this one's, uh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're gambling, right? I mean... <laughs> anyway, I'm damned for that question first, don't we? Uh, I, I mean, for the most part, I'm telling you, I'm just, just chilling out. Yeah, I mean, if you're just chilling and having fun, I mean, yeah. Also, there's no winning this game. Um, I mean, you can win, you just don't win anything. Hmm. Oh. I seem very less interested. <laughs> oh. So if, if you want to make it about money, that's a whole nother thing. Then, I mean, then it's a game. But then we got to talk about who has how much money, how we're going to play, what we're going to... Yeah, that's a good point, how we're splitting, splitting it. And I... Personally, is really, you know, try not to be too showy. I mean, not as far as, I mean, the term wealth is very vast. Or, I mean, you can be very knowledgeable in that as well. This is true. <laughs> After a half of the sorry. Yeah, for the most part, that's what she says. <laughs> After a hand or two, I go back upstairs and see what the commotion's about. Uh, you see that uh, as time has gone on, 
uh, more and more soldiers and, and sailors are gathering uh, at the fishing spot because there's like eight or nine guys at this point basically like holding on to the fishing pole. Huh. They're just I like struggling with, yeah. Sounds, sounds good. So, I mean, you come up and what do you want to do to investigate? You just want to look and see what's going on or? Yeah, I say, I say one of the people, I say, big catch. They're like, yeah, it started out as just nothing, but I mean, I guess it wasn't nothing because we keep getting more people and we can't pull this heavy motherfucker up. Hmm. Could it be a sea monster? And I wiggle my fingers. Like, like three or four of them just look at you with like a shocked look on their face that indicated they hadn't thought of that. <laughs> what right. do you mean, sea monster? Yeah, what do so, you mean? I trace my claw just very gently, not actually tr cutting the line, but I trace my claw along the line. And I say, you know, I hear in these parts there are very vicious sea monsters. Release the Kraken! Oh, I did in my pants. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, basically they're just like, well, I don't think that the sea monster would have taken the bait. Why? It was, it was a watch. What if, consider this, what if... Well, I mean, it could be that way, but it seems like an awful lot of work for a sea monster that can probably just eat the boat. What if it likes to play? What if it likes to play with its food? Well, who are you, Miss? What if? It's my job questions. He, he's gonna look at you for a second. I make sure I keep like... Oh, you are so lucky. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. Oh, Axel, that net one. I told you, you guys think you have bad rolls. Try being me for a day and your GM, and you still don't get good <laughs> I took... I took the hand that should have the tattoo underneath my other while I lean over the edge and kind of try and see if I can see anything. The tattoo of the fishing line. I don't like Giant lean. wave hits the boat, make a reflex save. Right. Oh god. <laughs> I really? Please no. Oh god damn it, now it's not letting me send privates, that's like, great. I don't like lean, like, lay over, I just kind of like means that I can peer over the edge, you know? Uh, that, yeah, that works. I, I don't, I don't feel like this is a, uh... So you're gonna lean over the edge, huh? But not like lean over it, just kind of peer over the edge. Okay. So, I mean, you... With my hand, kind of covered. <laughs> and you're just hoping to see what's going on? Yeah, I want to see what's attached to the, the thing. Uh, so far you still can't quite see it. It's in the water still. It hasn't been able to be pulled up. Hmm. Interesting. So all this commotion is just you guys fishing. Look, you try to pull the fish in. Hold on. Hold on. Like, I'm checking my Need <laughs> to um, check my relevant scores, thank you. No, actually I'm checking my personality traits. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I try to help them pull it up. Alright. I have plus zero strength. Well, you know, ten ten hands are better than nine. Maybe. Through, maybe unless I roll a one. One. It's actually a five. Well, no, is it locked? Hold on. Where's the D four? 
Yeah, it's, it's a five. Well then. Yeah, you don't help. I don't help. <laughs> you see? You see how hard it is? It's hard. I am a little tiny slip of a thing, and you are saying you want me to help you try and pull up this fish? Well, at least give us some more encouragement. More encouragement? As opposed to being so negative, Mrs. What If? I'm just saying, you could very well be pulling up a monster onto your boat. Uh, and I could be pulling up your mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude of me. And now she'd probably deserve it. The sailor used vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Take 1d4 for psychic damage. Oh my God. He 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 aspired to be a bard. <laughs> but all he knows is vicious mockery. So I I have really no choice except to stand there and be like, go team. Uh, at which point they're they're looking around and even more people are coming to try to help pull up the <laughs> pull up the and... thing. And I'm guessing uh, Tonyo's just got us sitting there with just with these cards, right? Uh, I mean, you got like one dude left, but he's really like looking up and down from the cards to like up above. Uh, and when she hears side from her, and just like, all right, let's go check what the hell is there and what is having a problem with. And on the way there, she kind of grabs her bow. In the clipper that she has, it's like, oh, all right, what the heck is it? What the heck is so problematic that a game can't go on? And you, you come up to see me being there, like, come on, anybody who pulls it up can actually pet my arm. You just like three more guys jump on. Oh, do we? I feel like I'm turning into a very different rogue as a girl on this ship of sailors. <laughs> oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to know that no matter what character you play, you're still the low key bard. <laughs> the low key freaking bard. I would <laughs> really love any role above a 15. My bard didn't get to seduce anyone, so I've got to make it up for it in other ways. <sighs> Which. She kind of takes a look at what they're trying to pull at first. And does she see anything? Like... I'm pleased to be this. So she just sees him pulling a rope and, you know, a bunch of people, probably now at least like 15 people all pulling this rope that was originally on a fishing pole, but they've since like tied the line to a rope. Oh yeah, and she's gonna see if she can try to help. Is it pure string check? Yep. At which point, uh, someone bursts out of the top cabin on the top deck and just like, "Yar, what the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and then she just hear her say, "These skeletons can't freaking pull their own weight." Yar, they're weak as goddamn kelp. Corn falls the captain out of the captain's quarters. Oi, you woodwalker, get up on there. We've got a lot to do. My Horn accent walks over to the uh, commotion area and grabs hold of the rope. The captain does likewise, and, and he's going to attempt to yank whatever is down at the bottom of this rope up into the boat. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go on three, everybody. Are you ready, kids? Whoever pulls it up gets a pet. Just Does that out. include me there? Of course. I'm pulling first. 
Alright, rolling my 1d20 plus my strength mod. God damn, I wish I could get yeah. anything better than a goddamn 12. Yeah, look at my strength. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking 22 total. Yar. So, uh, with everyone working in concert, including the captain and his 12, Yar, uh, you are able to finally yank, you know, after 20 people do it, you're able to yank it out of the water. I look and see what it is. Alright, give me about a moment. Where the heck? I need to do one thing. Eh. Watch it in the sea monster. Just a whole damn sea monster. The tentacle. I've seen hentais that started like this. I've seen hentais that ended like this. <laughs> you ended right at the good part. Not for me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and just so you know, the, the, it was coming off from like this direction over here where you guys were pulling. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you pull up, it's so heavy that it basically like, once it's tension gives out, everybody falls back. So you have to make a reef, you have to make a reflex save in order to keep yourself from falling backwards. E so Dexterity. Oh, yes, dude. sorry. Dexterity. Dick, dick, I wasn't touched on the rope. I was offering my feminine enticement. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying them like you're the only one. Jeez. There's my dex save. Uh, gotta go. All right. So, Michael, your character does not fall down. Joel, yours does. Uh, but regardless, uh, you see that over the side appears. Oh, wait, we went on the right layer. Oh, no, I'm not. There we go. A small spherical, uh, seemingly mechanical thing with one big eye, spiny wings and limbs, which uh, promptly lands on somebody. I try to catch it before it goes away. I try to grab it. Uh, oh, no. And uh, as it lands on that person, you just hear, MY BONES! Ah, I knew it was, was coming! I knew it was coming! <laughs> I'm not even joking. I knew it was coming too. It was just like a Please don't be You know, the funnier thing is that my character is. I, I'm gonna reveal this to you now since we're like halfway in at this point and everyone's invested. This is not one of my impromptu uh, games. This is a can. This is a module. Alex! <laughs> yeah! You got a laptop I can borrow? Uh, yeah. You gotta come and grab it though. One sec, sorry, someone's grabbing the laptop. Mm -hmm. It's in here, one sec. Ugh. Let's get open the door. So, uh, but yeah, this one's actually a campaign module. This one's not from me. But, uh, I was able to seamlessly write in my own character due to his ability to basically interact with anything. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, kindly. Uh, but yeah, you just hear that, you just hear my bones! Uh, and then that topples on, you hear a loud thunk, and, uh, yeah. You see this little spherical mechanical thing sitting on somebody. It's got one big okay. eye. Is it? Mm, is it? That's, mm, that's a good question. I'd probably say a couple feet in height. Oh, okay. Can I walk uh, up to it and like kind of investigate it? Yeah. Um, uh, like what is as well as has she ever seen something like this before? Or at least read something about this? Um, 
I forget. I think you're no. Who's? Are any of you guys planner based? Planner. Yeah, I don't think any of you are. I know. No. no. In, no, in which case you wouldn't have prior knowledge um, to this you oh might God. be actually the tabaxi is the only one that i think might be depends oh, um, so maybe define. define uh define that by i mean i did pick the fey wanderer as the uh ranger as a, uh, archetype That one might work, because it's technically planner. So you would have to roll history. You have the opportunity. Everyone else might not even have the opportunity. Oh, so I have to roll history? No, no, she has to roll history. Uh, Jewel. Uh, I don't think I the fort to investigate. So, I mean, you see this thing, it's definitely a, a being, a living thing of some kind. You know, it's kind of goldish, copperish. It's got wings, little arms and legs with one big eye in the middle. It kind of looks like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> uh, not 12 is definitely not helping. Uh, I mean, you know that this thing is planner, that this thing is from somewhere else. Can I hold my hand out to it? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Actually, this is an Arcana check. Oh. My apologies. Uh, well, either way, I did have a plus zero. Oh, enough. actually, you might get this free. They might have to make the Arcana check. You get this for free. Because oh, you technically do an Arcana. I have a plus three to Arcana. Do it. I you. <laughs> oh, net 20, baby. Oh, nice. So, you both know what that is then. Did I roll Arcana even though I have a plus one? Yeah. That's the whole point of having proficiency in those is you don't have to be good. You just have to be proficient. 18. Oh, no. Not good enough. Oh. I miss my bard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, I'm getting all my seducing out now. Clearly. I'm just offering pets. <laughs> Never said which kind. Ooh, getting some heavy petting in. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought of a really funny joke, but like, there's like a line before you get demonetized on Twitch? Oh, uh, yeah. And YouTube. <laughs> Not gonna say that one. Okay. And I've got a different word for cat. Uh, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Hilarious, but horrible. Oh, okay, that is. But, uh, anyway, yeah, the thing on the, the ground is, uh, it looks... Up with its giant eye and yeah it, just, it look it looks and, and goes boss well this this might be problematic who did it say that to? my bones that's that's from the guy under it who it's standing on currently and I say problematic because uh, I don't think any of us know how to communicate with that Boss. But who does it say boss to? It's actually saying boss in common. Who is it? Who is it saying boss to? Uh, just in general, it's just like boss, boss, boss. I hold my hand out and I say yes. Boss. Yes. Boss fix. Fix. Um, pardon. Uh, uh, um. Yes. Boss fix I. Yes? Uh, what's wrong with your eye? She kind of looks at it. I bad. I kind of try to pull it off of the guy it's standing on. Yeah. Uh, roll a strength check. With some help from Toya, because she's going to try to do that. Normally not meddling, but he is, he is, being, he is sitting on top of something. Advantage, then. 
right? Yeah. Or separate rolls? Uh, I think advantage. Yeah. Unless you're doing them separately. No, I'm not. Um, 11. That's the highest roll? Yep. Bad boss. Bad boss. Boss. Bad no. boss. boss. Boss face. Bad boss face enemy. Bad boss. No. Six no, face no, bad. Good. No, good bad. Good six, boss. Six face bad. Good. I'm good boss. Good boss. Yes. Good boss. Yes, and I kind of pet it a little. Uh, and it, it kind of is just, uh, it nuzzles up to you when you do that, but it says, good boss. Um, good boss fix. Yes. Um, um, uh, I'm going to try to cast Lester Restoration just in case it might be blinded. <laughs> think see you can that do that. Yeah. Yeah, I do have lesser restoration, so I'm going to use that to see if it's blinded by something or if it's just a malfunctioning eye. So yeah, I'm going to use lesser restoration. Alrighty, so you see that the monodrome's eye, which seemed to, you know, be a little... I mean, you couldn't tell, but it's it was a bit out of focus. And in doing that, you kind of like refocus its lens and it's like recalibrated and it says, I good. That's good. I good, boss. Would, would, would you mind getting off that sailor there? Yeah. Boss? And it looks over at, uh... <laughs> K. Uh, yeah, is that boss? K is my name. K? K is my name. It's yeah. just K. Not yeah. special K? Technically, the full name is Katie. Okay. Okay, okay. Which is K. Okay, yeah. But no more Ks um, after that. Okay, yeah. Because three Ks are bad, but one K is okay. Yeah. It's okay. Two Ks is okay. KK. Um, but not three. Bad. So I say, I say, get off of that man, please. Boss, and it steps off. My bones. <laughs> I have a toy. <laughs> um, At which point the guy on the ground gets up. I don't know why this happens to me. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, Cure Wounds on him. At which point you hear him say... At which point you hear him say... Oh, my bones. So 1d8 plus 4. He gets 10 points of healing. So thank you. We have no idea how much that hurts. Oh, no doubt about it. I don't think mm, that would be pleasant. I think my lung and, and my heart were touching. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to my room to get back to my study. And I say, to the, guy, off. I say to the guy, the little robot guy, I say, you should apologize to that man and see what it does. Uh, let's see. Boss good. Yes. Boss friend? Yes. Boss friend soft. Sorry? Boss friend soft. Yes. And I offer it my hand to nuzzle on. Uh, it nuzzles. Boss good. <laughs> and then bites me your hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then it says, boss, boss fix. Yes? Boss fix, bad boss. Yes. Bad square, six face bad. Six face bad. What is six face? Six face, bad boss. Oh, what are you trying to find me out? Six face, bad boss. Where is Six Face? Six Face near. Near? Near death. Well, death. Death fix big bad boss. 
Yeah. But you're on my team then, right? Big bad boss banning me. Banning me! I'll take that as a yes. What can I call you? Boss? I'm not gonna call you boss. Yeah, no. Tilt's head to the side, boss. What do they designate you? Which Joey kind of says, what do they designate you as far as naming it? Or naming? Does it answer her? It has, like, it doesn't answer, it doesn't say anything. Sometimes it doesn't stare at, isn't staring at Toya, like, weird. Uh, more like it's just like doesn't know. It's, it's like you asked it something it can't answer, or it doesn't know the answer to. But is it giving me weird look? Because out of character, because out of character, it does have true sight. Uh, it it does, but it's uh, it does it's. It's tough to explain to you what's happening with it without ruining anything. But just suffice to say that it doesn't look very, like, surprised, necessarily. It's just, like, boss. I pat it again, and I say, I'm gonna call you Mike. 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 Okay. Boss, friend, Mike. Yes. Mike, friend, boss. Yes. I hope it doesn't think your name is Mike. Mike? No, it thinks my name is Boss. Boss. Yes. Boss, good. Do you like what this is? I say to Toya. Toy. Yeah. Or Toto? I don't know your name. What's your name? Toya. Toya. I'm saying hi, by the way. I hold out my hand. And um. Yeah, I'm here for the last one. Just weird. Anna. What is it? It's a monodrome. A, a, mo a monodrome? Yes, a monodrome. What is that? Um, more or less is a, const a construct. A, as you see, it is a construct for the most part. Out of character, I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, okay, it's like a medium sized um, All right. Out of character. Mono drones are simple spherical constructs with two mechanical arms and two legs. They have a single eye and rudimentary but functional wings. They also do not require any food and drew sustenance from the air around them. As barely intelligent creatures, they are capable of only one task at a time. They could communicate, but they are only capable of delivering a single message consisting of no more than 48 words. Huh. And typically, they're only supposed to be able to speak monodrone. Typically. Monodrone. Yep. Typically. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I will also say that this, I gotta double check. As well as also have true sight. But it passes perception of time. Uh, let's see here. Yes, they have true sight. Uh, homeland is Mechanus. Patron deity is Primus. I will also note that this. I will also note that this uh, adventure takes place in the uh, Sword Coast Adventures world. For any pertinent information. But. Yeah, the, the this is all out of character knowledge. Yeah, well, unless you made a good roll, then you would know some of this. Like, Which I rolled in at twenty, so yeah, you probably know most of this. You know everything. I go to you again. That's it. And for the and for the most part, oddly enough, because of this lovely little fun fact, I mean, uh, since you did, you're still you're close enough to her that. Um, not like she's been drawn like what it is. She smells roughly of, of cinnamon, lavender, nutmeg, or any other comforting herb or spice. Weird. What? Yeah, the wind does feel nice. Boss. Yes. Boss. Now does it like... It 
it thinks I'm its boss, do I tell it to do things? I mean, I guess that's up to you. Boss break, bad boss? Yes. Uh, who's bad boss? Bad boss, six face bad. Bad boss, enemy. Would I know? Would I know that it, it can deliver messages? Um. Uh, you did not uh, roll high enough for that. You know nothing of the. Uh, yeah, you basically know its name and whatever Jewel told you. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Um, I mean, I suppose you could always think about asking the green dragon born who walked off. I could. Although you wouldn't necessarily have a good reason to. Yeah. Because yeah. assuming so he be knows what the what the Modron is is racist <laughs> or, or classist or something. I don't know. It's assuming, so it's got to be some kind of is. So who pulled him up? I'd say to the larger group, who pulled him up? Oh, I did. The guy on the ground says, oh, "My bones my feel so much better now." I hold out my hand. You get one pet. Thank you. He You're pets welcome. it. He's like, wow, that's nice. You're welcome. Uh, so now that this is solved, and when she kind of picks up her bow and, you know, and makes, like, heads back to her room to drop it off and then, you know, goes back to playing cards. Not a terrible pet, but, you know, kind of average. Boss. Wait, who yeah. does it follow after that? After that? They will keep following her. Oh. Yay. I'm, I have a pet. <laughs> um, so I suppose I follow, um... Did you name? I'm... I'm... Hmm? Did you actually tell me your name? Or did you just shake my hand when I told you, know, you mine and say nothing? She did, she did, she did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, is it... What it is? Toro? To Toyo? Yeah. To Toyo? Okay, Toyo. Yeah. Um, so I follow her. And I play cards with her. With my little robot buddy by my side. Oh, God. oh, lady. Does it seem like you are not as suspicious of me anymore? I mean, her thing is. <laughs> she's aware that she probably snuck onto the ship. <laughs> but is it her place to say anything? No. Oh, heaven. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe. Yeah. I'm just more worried, probably, uh... What the heck? It was more of the double take of what the heck. Okay, cool. I, I, I do how, love how neither of you are questioning the drink, green dragonborn that helped yeah, pull it up. And then walked off. The guy and then walked off. I mean, hey, a ship is full of a bunch of weird people. As well as... Human going to met is, is a form of meddling. The entire book is a form of meddling to go bother and badger someone for 20 hours of questions. Oh, I should also mention that the green dragonborn is in hide armor with a spear attached to his back. Is that weird? Oh no, are you weird? No, I'm just kidding. I mean... That's toy weird. Or <laughs> not really. I, I, mean, I choose not to answer this question. I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it. He, uh, do we have a longbow? I choose to ignore these signs. Yeah. So, okay, so here's what I do. I, I sit next to toy, we're playing cards, and I say, so what's your role on this shit? Uh, I managed to get myself into, find myself in a position of being a researcher. Researcher? Yeah. Oh yeah, what by the way, doing? Axel, what does my role tell me? Yeah, 
Um, more or less, that is what I'm kind of. Oh, I have a good stuff doing. But I Wherever this boat is heading to, from what I understand, it's an island that moves. Are there any other researchers on board? Um, from my understanding, it's uh, that, uh, that green dragon one, but I think that's it. Hmm. Interesting. However, I am curious of, um, what do you have arrived in town? Pardon? Do you have arrived in town? You know, with the rest of all the same time as I did. Which is kind of like, really. Hmm. Are you, are you, wait, hold on, are you asking me about when I arrived in town? Yes, yeah, she's just like giving you a look like, so what brings you to the town? Let me out. At which point you hear the Modron just go, bad boss near. And from the top deck, uh, land ho! Okay, so I'm this supposed to be baking? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I stand, I stand and I pat my little robot friend on the head and I say, well, let's go get bad bugs. And yeah. I ever so gently, uh, carefully to not run to leave this situation that she's asking me questions in. Very sure. You won't be able to tell. Yeah. I mean, she's going to take pace with her, and like, I mean, I'm just asking. I'm not asking to be nosy, meddling. Oh well, you know, I I heard about this voyage, and I'm just so interested in stopping these storms that I wanted to help. Ah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, do I see the green dragonborn? Uh, currently, no. Yep. No? Hmm. Where did he go? Who's your other researcher? Do you want, do you know? Mm -hmm. Not uh, other than myself, I think. Hmm. I don't think I know much about that. Because, uh, I'm like, hmm. But I'm definitely just in it as much as I am for the research. Speaking of, this is just about the time we're going to have to cut it off as we're approaching land and 9 o'clock, at least my time, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, other people's times. Oh. Fair. That is fair. Hashtag fair. <laughs> I got a pet, you guys. You know, you have a very much... Oddly non meddlesome uh, researcher, and she's just as chill as I'll get down about this, but oddly enough, still comfor comfortable. He doesn't mind. Mm -hmm. Do I get the suspicion that you saw me stow away and that you're sus of me? Do I get that suspicion? I would. I mean. I'm not sure. How do you want to oh, want to go for that? But she is a little bit. A small bit, but not wanting to meddle kind of curiosity. DM, help me resolve this. Let me do that before the end of. Oh. God. Do I know why she's sus of me? <laughs> do I suspect why she's sus of me? I mean, you might, but you have no confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. My little robot friend will stay between us. <laughs> yeah, and she's just looking at that thing like, oh boy. It's my friend. Yeah, yes it is. It's, 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 they did say land, you know, land ho, but so yes. she's gonna head towards her room and grab her stuff. She's going to probably need it. Yeah, and then I suspect we can we can just end the, end the session today. Yeah, it seems good. I mean, we made some decent progress, all things considered. Considering a good like hour of it was making characters and getting shit set up as always. 
But that's why that's why I usually check ins at four and we determine it's like all right at four, all right, is everybody here? Nope. All right, we gotta make new shit for a new session. <laughs> <laughs> and then and this I one mine. I love it because they're all they're one-offs but they're never one-offs because we don't do a level one adventure so there's no way we're gonna finish it in two hours <laughs> <laughs> and then you love how those get great because everyone brought a different character in a sense it was an interesting one. I also did, like I said, I, I love that I've made such elaborate side characters that I did not, the Modron part of this adventure is part of this adventure. I didn't add that in or anything. That's part of the setup for the campaign. Mm -hmm. I just happen to have a character who has already dealt with that. And he just happens yeah. to be my recurring character. Yes. My and bones! Then, my bones! And I'm just I just love yeah. the references too, because like no matter what campaign he's in, he is conscious of the other campaigns. <laughs> he's just like, oh yeah, I I slayed the moment once. Oh yeah, this one guy burned down the whole town. Yep, 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 yep. And then there's this oddly, not, uh, very oddly not nosy researcher that keeps eyeing that Motron like crazy, like but oddly it's chill and oddly enough has a, a, a long bow of all things he's my friend, it's okay boss yeah. boss Has friend. hashtag Mike the Motron yes you want to know his full name? Mike all of you? <laughs> No. <laughs> Mike was asking. Yeah, yeah, but um, I mean, I kind of figured after I gave you that description was the reason. <laughs> That's also uh, why the name fits well. And he is now added to my list of side characters that must be drawn and added to the universe. <laughs> I, I, I wish to have a conversation with the captain for the sentence. All right. You, you may have this conversation. We're going to go to another chat and have it real quick, though, so we can finish no. this up. We should have it together. No. Nope, because you guys aren't here with me in the captain's quarters. I was heading that way. I was getting there. <laughs> All right, Michael. Yar, what the fuck you want this time? Are you muted? There you go. Anyways, um, basically, I want to uh, ask the captain if he knows anything about uh, gods that fit that description of chaos and comedy. There, there be a legend of a god once who done fit some kind of description. There, mostly the chaos, though, not so much the comedy. I mean, unless you find lots of dead bodies funny. Uh, I guess that kind of humor is objective, but not exactly me. Yar, me neither. I'm more of the Abbott and Costello. <laughs> but I digress. This hair god supposedly lives and is housed only on an island. An island in the middle of the sea. Just like every other island. So, you're... Are you saying that this god supposedly lives on this island that we are currently, well, currently just reached? Well, lives is a strong word. More like our inhabits. It's hard to explain there. Interesting. You ever seen the movie Hercules? <laughs> the kids well, version. Yeah, yeah, yes, I have. Yar, it's kind of like Zeus there. Oh. He's not really there, per se. But he's there, per se. I get what you mean. Yar. At least that's what I heard. Could be a whole bunch oh. of bullshit. If that's the case, this may prove more fruitful of an adventure than I originally thought it would be. It might be, but I warn ya. I'm not getting off the boat. So good well. luck. As long as you have this boat ready to leave. I will. In about one week's time. Well, hopefully we get what we came for within that week. Yar, hopefully. Last time, you know, well, we'll see. Hopefully they're at the shore there and we can pick it up and get the f out of here. It'll be the shortest adventure we ever had. 
In fact, that might be what we do. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the main chat there. Alright. Still mad at him. Uh, no, that's probably not what we're gonna do, but that would be a funny option to make a one off finish. That, that so, uh, yeah. so, as we approach the island, you see uh, on the shore the guy we came to get. <laughs> so we grab him and we leave and we're out of him here. Yard, it was the easiest mission we ever done did. They're actually right where they were supposed to be. We just couldn't talk to them. They're bastards. Okay, but nothing happens oh. special with the, uh, the weirdo frog that uh, we had. I'm, I'm giving you shit. That's not what happens. That's how I would end it if it needed to be a one off. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a yard. You got to the island. There they are. We're going back now. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like you can't stay on the island. It's full of rabbits and nothing else. Not even trees. Flesh eating rabbits? Yes, they actually eat rocks. Rock so they eating rabbits. Eating rabbits then. Yeah, they're not very tasty. They're very rough. Also, I'm the voice of the captain and the narrator. <laughs> this is a pirate story. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, the voices today. I was I was trying to give them a little bit of variety. Mm. You did very well. Thank you. Yeah. I, th I think my favorite part was the uh, group of old mages arguing with each other. <laughs> I know, it was very really great. It was just like... I, I, I ripped off quite a few of my favorite uh, voice actors in the uh, old, but highly tried and true, just slightly changed the pitch of the voice to make them sound different. <laughs> yes, Jonathan! Tell him what we're doing! No, Jonathan, tell him what we're doing! My favorite part was when I um, was when I decided to turn my rogue into a slut. I mean, it's just a fur slut. It's really just a furry, just a regular furry, not even like a slutty furry. <laughs> it's true, actually. Yeah. And what? Furries are huge whores. No. <laughs> I mean, and it really okay. It went for ever... food, but it it went for food, but it didn't work for the higher researchers. All I gotta say is I actually had a concept film called Find That Furry, which was just about some dude meeting a furry at a comic con and having to chase them across the country trying to figure out who this furry actually is. <laughs> Which was inspired by my real life attempt to find the furry at this one Comic Con. <laughs> oh no! I didn't actually. It wasn't like oh go across. It was like I was. There was like a fucking dance, and we we're just like, all right, we're chilling. It's like, all right, I gotta find this furry. Oh no, they're not wearing the costume anymore. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a classic love story, but no love, all furry. <laughs> when have you ever met a furry to not offer pet, offer pet? Or hugs, at least. Or hugs. I mean, Tokyo didn't hug. Tokyo didn't hug. That's not wrong. But yeah, there were there were a couple of things. I feel I I can't believe I found such a good way in just the natural set of this campaign to pull in Cathars. <laughs> and to use his classic joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so, that, that joke is almost a year old now. <laughs> I I will say this, Ashley, you had a chance to figure out what class my character was, but you weren't paying attention. It was earlier when both you and me were on the uh, top deck. Yeah, I gave out some hints. They're very small. I do it in all the campaigns. I give out tiny little hints about things that are coming and like p prior jokes and hints. Like, obviously, you can catch on after a while of like, all right, who's coming when you got all these people pulling something from under the thing? Ah, of course, it's Catharsis. He's making an entrance. <laughs> but some of them are a little more subtle, like, you know, De Jenny Danarax and not being real. So, but like. I don't. I can't even think of what it would have been. Well, I didn't exactly go to stealth. That you just weren't observing my character. Because I went to go cast a spell. 
Oh, yeah, well. I wasn't I hiding it, and then after I did, I went to the captain's quarters. I have a passive perception of 16. fucking vape and I forgot to grab my fucking vape. Good job. But yeah, it was a good one this time. I feel like the going on a basic campaign was just as much trouble as doing one of mine, so <laughs> to get anyone to do anything is like 90% motivation at the start, which is why half of my campaigns just start with like, alright, you've all been taken prisoner and shoved in a room. Good luck, motherfuckers. <laughs> and then we don't want to be doing dealing with that. <laughs> Yeah, then half the time you end up almost killing each other on the way out or can't figure out how to open a fucking door. Okay, only one of us clearly had that problem. It was actually Shut two up. of you. It wasn't Shut you, up. Jewel, but there were two of you that had that problem. Okay, two of you there. That's half. Okay, okay, how the heck was I, okay. At what point did I have trouble opening a door? It Maybe wasn't- I had trouble opening- It wasn't you, it was, uh, <laughs> Diffy. I know. And me. And him. Exactly. Mr. Yeah. Bear. Shut up! <laughs> and, and the halfling got, and he got insane by the halfling. <laughs> if I could also say, I, in, in plain of all, I did try to open a door that was not locked and it stabbed me. It bit you, there's a difference. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> it bit me. Trust me, I've been stabbed by a door. Bad times. No, that's Michael, you're thinking of the dragon door. I'm talking about the door inside oh. the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> illusion. It's illusionary blade. It stabbed me. Yeah, that did happen. To be fair, that wasn't a door. That was a trap. <laughs> a trap door. <laughs> a door trap. And that and to, and, and it didn't technically stab you. And in this campaign, I've used two healing spells. Which doesn't help decide what class I am for you guys. Well, it's not like there's three or four classes that can use that. I know. And like, exactly, like... it doesn't help. I mean, I think it's I think a mystery. You're, I think you're a cleric. I might am I be. right? Am I right? You might be. I mean. See, what else could it be other than that? Um, because you did use you'll just wounds. you'll just have to wait to see uh, if we enter combat at some point. But you're really strong, so I bet you're a cleric. It's only a plus three to strength. Mm, let's see. I mean, he could be also an artificer. He could be a- okay, I don't think he would be a ranger, but a paladin? Probably. Um... A paladin has like- has like, lay on hands and that's it. No, they can do cure wounds. No, higher- higher levels they get less restoration and, uh, cure wounds. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, so we might be a paladin. Okay, well, the dig back to Okay, I didn't need that. Okay, I got that. Um, but anyway... For yeah. all you know, I could be a bard. Yeah. Bard, bards have the throwaway stat of strength, do not lie to me. you never seen a bard holding a fucking tuba? <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked by my strength superiority. I will beat the devil to death with this. <laughs> I love that meme on the bards and it's like have you ever seen a marching band the bard will show you how to beat a dragon to death what? by example another thing to remember is dragonborns get a natural plus two to strength yeah. okay, wow uh, has anyone else heard about this I just want to mention this because it's too funny for me Right wing fans mocked for boycotting Rage Against the Machine after realizing the band's political stance. Oh, I heard about that. that it's like, what, what machine did you think you were raging against? The fucking ice cream machine? <laughs> <laughs> the raging against the fact that the, uh, um, 
um, ice cream machine at McDonald's is not ever working. <laughs> yeah. I was actually gonna mention something about that. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, yes, but I would say a druid, but then again... You know my track record with druids. I mean, you might have tried it, tr uh, this time it actually freaking worked. I still think Clara. I had I had a bad experience as a druid. I don't ever want to play one again. And then I play one, and everything goes fucking right. It's all about certain people playing certain classes well. Michael plays rogues and combat characters decently. And then he gets to a spellcaster, and he just has to fuck shit up for himself. <laughs> I, I have a better track record playing as a monk than I do any other class. Even that class, honestly, just... He just likes to f himself in the ass. He's like, there's the line. Do that. He's like, there's the line. He's like, why am I on the other side of it? When did this happen? <laughs> yes. I'm just surprised I was able to sneak into the boat. I mean, I mean... With a plus 10 to stealth, I hope you would have been able to. I mean, and plus, I don't think... It, you also had them doing uh, daring facts that... To you doesn't care. You had a person that sat and watched you kind of climb that boat to a degree. Or at least guessed you kind of got on that boat some way, somehow. Oh, you saw me get on the boat. Oh, you saw me on the... You didn't see me get on the boat, you saw me on it. But, yeah. Because I occasionally just disappear for you sometimes. It happens, don't worry about it. Yeah, but it's not like she's completely stupid either. No, 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 no. She's not completely stupid. <laughs> I'm mean, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, she could have been nosy enough and said something to the people at the docks. But you didn't. Because she isn't nosy. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, Dragonborn also get a plus one charisma. Which is kind of comical. I get a plus one to charisma, and I'm a tabaxi. You're a cat. cat. That makes sense. Everybody loves the kitty cat. I mean, are we still streaming? Yeah, I should probably stop that before something bad happens. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.